Project FEAR has been completely dismantled after stunning new analysis found around 1,000 EU-based financial services firms are looking to open their first office in the UK, with Brexit-hating Ireland topping the list. A Freedom of Information Request FOI, by financial regulatory consultancy Bovel revealed almost 1,500 financial companies have applied for permission to continue operating in the UK after Brexit. Political commentator Darren Grimes basked in the glory of the new FOI findings from Bovel, taking a brutal swipe at Brexit scaremongers who insisted the UK would be worse off as a result of Brexit. He tweeted, 1,500 money managers, payment firms and insurers have applied for permission to continue operating in the UK, around two-thirds had no prior physical operations in Britain. So much for Brexit killing the UK's attraction for financial services. Around two-thirds of the firms had no prior physical operations in Britain. The FOI request from last year showed 1,441 firms had applied to the Temporary Permission Regime, TPR, with 83% of these on a services passport, meaning they would need to set up an office in the UK for the first time. Bovel repeated its FOI at the end of December, which found 1,476 firms have signed up to the regime and are awaiting FCA authorization in order to operate in the UK. But the analysis with the Financial Conduct Authority, FCA, found geographically, the highest number of applications came from companies in Ireland, 230, followed by France, 186, and Germany, 168. Firms from these three EU member states accounted for more than a third of the 1,476 applications for authorization to do business in the UK. Ireland, particularly under the premiership of former Prime Minister Leo Varadkar and his Foreign Minister Simon Coveney, were constantly vocal in their opposition to Brexit during the four years of talks between the UK and EU. Mike Johnson, managing consultant at Bovel, said, Ireland at the top of the list is to be expected, given how interlinked the UK and Irish economies are and their shared strength in asset management, a relationship which these numbers suggest will continue post-Brexit. France and Germany will be driving much of the EU's trade negotiation and whilst equivalence rules for the financial services sector are still to be agreed, these numbers show that it is in the economic interest of both sides to secure a mutually beneficial deal. Bovel said that with Brexit now complete and the TPR closed, these represent the final number of firms on the regime, signifying that the UK will continue to be a leading player on the global financial stage. Mr. Johnson continued, the numbers from this FOI provide evidence that London is set to remain a key global financial centre.